This is part two of a video that covers how to work efficiently uh, with tabular data in Excel. Uh, and I'm just going to go straight back to the uh, previous problem we've been looking at. And we saw here how we used uh, this form, this combo box, uh, to read the um, planet here and, and we used formulas to extract uh, information from this table. I'm just going to move this table again because here we can see when we select planet Earth it takes number three or this uh, cell takes the number three because Earth is the third one in the list. Uh, now I'm going to show you a different way uh, to achieve the same kind of functionality uh, and this method is preferred by some people. Uh, what I'm going to do now I'm going to delete uh, this uh, combo box just by cutting uh, and I'm going to introduce uh, another function here. Uh, I'll show you where this is. It's on tools and it's it's not tools, it's in data, beg your pardon, uh, and it's under validation. I'm going to pull this box here. It's data validation and it says allow, uh, so this cell is going to allow any value from a list. So I'm now going to select my list. I'm going to allow uh, cell E24 to take any value provided it's in this list. That's basically what the command is saying. If I go OK. Uh, it's not immediately obvious what it, what's going to happen, but every time I click on that cell now I get this combo box appear and um, we can see it's taken uh, the values in the list and I have to select one of them. That's that's the only way I can get information into that cell now. So we have uh, Earth selected there and I just want to show you uh, what we would do now. Uh, in this case I'm going to delete number three um, and I'm going to now use a match function. So if I just show you what's happening here equals match lookup value. I want to look up Earth I want to find Earth in a lookup array. I want to see where Earth is in that list of uh, arrays. And then there's a match type number. And here uh, I'm, it can either be set to a 0 or 1. 0 looks for an exact match. And in fact, that's what I want to use in this case. Uh, so if I press Enter now, we can see what's happened now. We've used uh, this uh, data validation uh, function. Uh, which has produced our nice little drop down box uh, and we use the match function uh, to work out uh, our index for reading from the table so these index functions are still taking the value 3 uh, and uh, if I change it we'll change it to Jupiter Jupiter becomes 5 I've lost a, a number there Jupiter's uh, obviously very big um, so this is this is an alternative to the use of the combo box. I think I prefer a combo box because uh, you don't know that you've got something to select until you actually uh, jump on that value. But I know people like Alex Demanovich prefers the uh, uh, validation box, and I guess it's just a matter of choice really uh, which one you decide to use yourself. Okay, I think that's probably all I'm going to say now about uh, using tabular data. Uh, and uh, I hope you found these tutorials uh, uh, useful and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the Excel Calcs website.